Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given uh, exponential uh, equation. 7 power x minus 1 plus 7 power 2x minus 1 plus uh, 7 power 3x minus 1 uh, equals to 2. In other words, we are going to find the value of uh, x. And please bear in mind that our x values are going to be all real numbers. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. And now let's recall the quotient rule of uh, exponents. If we have a x power m divided by x power n, then we can write x power m minus n. And we are going to use this uh, rule on all of these uh, three terms on the left hand side. So therefore, uh, this first term could be written as uh, 7 power x divided by 7 power 1 plus uh, for this uh, second term that is going to be 7 power 2x uh, divided by 7 power 1 and plus uh, finally this term we can write that one 7 power 3x uh, divided by 7 power 1 equals to 2 on the right hand side and now let's make an observation we can see 7 power 1 is same as uh, 7 so therefore our denominators are going to be 7 uh, across the board and now we can write the left hand side as uh, 7 power x uh, plus 7 power 2x uh, plus uh, 7 power 3x uh, all over 7 is going to be equal to 2 and now I'm going to remove this fraction by multiplying uh, 7 on the left hand side and I'm going to multiply 7 on the right hand side uh, as well. And now we can see this 7 and 7 uh, they are gone. So therefore we are ended up with uh, 7 power x plus uh, 7 power 2x uh, plus uh, 7 power 3x is going to be equal to 14 on the right hand side. And now I'm going to label this equation as our equation number one. And now let's recall the power rule of uh, exponents. If we have a x power m and then another power n, then this whole thing could be written as x power m times n. And we are going to apply this uh, rule on these uh, two terms on the left hand side. So therefore we can write uh, 7 power x the first term as it is, plus uh, we can write uh, 7 power uh, x and then power 2 and then plus uh, 7 power x and then power 3 equals to 14 and now we are going to make a substitution to make job uh, simpler we are going to focus on 7 power x uh, 7 power x uh, and 7 power x uh, i'm going to call uh, 7 of power x uh, as u so in other words i'm going to say let uh, u is going to be equal to 7 power x. So therefore after the substitution this is going to become simply u plus this is going to become u square plus uh, u power 3 is going to be equal to 14. And now I'm going to move this 14 on the left hand side and I'm going to write that one in a descending order. I can write uh, u power 3 plus uh, u square plus uh, u minus 14 equal to 0 and now we can see our uh, highest degree is uh, 3 so we are going to have uh, at most uh, 3 solutions and if I pick uh, u equal to 0 that is not going to work it's not going to be equal to 0 and next if I pick uh, u equals to 2 and if we plug it in u value as 2 that's going to become 2 power 3 this is going to become 2 power 2 plus uh, 2 minus 14 my question is is this is equal to 0 on the right hand side and we can see this is 8 plus 4 plus 2 and then minus 14 question is it equal to 0 and we can see 8 plus 4 plus 2 is 4, 14. Minus 14 is indeed going to give us a 0. 
So therefore we conclude uh, 0 on the left hand side and 0 is on the right hand side as well. So we check our answer. So therefore u equals to 2 is one of our uh, real solutions. So thus uh, u equals to 2 turns out to be one of the solutions uh, to this uh, equation. And now we are going to figure out uh, two other solutions as well. And now we have two options. Uh, one of the options is uh, synthetic division. The other one is uh, long division. And this time I'm going to use the synthetic division. And now I'm going to show you how to perform the synthetic division on this uh, polynomial. Here our coefficients are 1, 1, 1. And this constant is uh, negative 14. So therefore I can write down these numbers 1, 1, 1 and negative 14 over here. And our one of the solutions is 2. So therefore I'm going to write down 2 on this uh, outside. And now let's focus on this very first number. I'm going to bring this one down all the way over here 1. And now I'm going to cross multiply. 2 times 1 is 2. I'm going to write down 2 over here. And now we are going to add these two numbers. 1 plus 2 is going to give us uh, 3. Let's multiply, cross multiply, 2 times 3 is going to give us uh, 6 uh, over here. And 1 plus 6 is going to give us uh, 7. And finally we are going to multiply 2 times 7, that is going to give us uh, positive uh, 14. And if we add uh, negative 14 and positive 14, that is going to give us uh, 0. And 0 is going to be our uh, remainder. And once we have a zero, our remainder, we are going to focus on these uh, numbers. This number is going to be our constant. This is going to be u and this is going to be u square. So therefore, uh, this is going to become simply 1 times uh, u square. And this is going to become uh, plus uh, 3 times uh, u. And then uh, plus this number is simply 7 as constant equal to 0. So thus we are ended up with this uh, quadratic uh, equation. And now let's recall the discriminant b square uh, minus 4 times ac. And here we can see our uh, a value is this coefficient of u square is 1. And then b value is this uh, coefficient of u. And then our constant c is uh, 7. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, discriminant. So this is b square means uh, 3 square minus 4 times a is 1, c is uh, 7, and let's simplify, 9 minus uh, 28 is going to give us uh, negative uh, 19, and we can see this negative 19 is uh, less than 0, a negative number, and now let's recall this uh, discriminant table, we can see if our uh, discriminant is uh, less than 0, in other words it's a negative, then we have no real solutions. So therefore we conclude that this uh, quadratic equation has no real uh, solutions. So therefore our only real solution is going to be 2. And at the very first place uh, the substitution u equals to 7 power x and u equals to 2 as well. So therefore if we compare these two equations we can easily write uh, 7 power x uh, is going to be equal to 2. And now I'm going to take a log on both sides. This is our common log. And now let's recall the power rule. If we have a log of uh, m power n, then we can drag this uh, n uh, all the way to the front, as you can see on the right hand side. And we are going to apply this uh, rule on the left hand side of this equation. So therefore we are going to drag this uh, x uh, all the way to the very front. So therefore we can write uh, x uh, times uh, log of uh, 7 is going to be equal to log of uh, 2. And now I'm going to divide both sides by log of 7 to isolate x. This is gone. So therefore our x is going to be equal to log of uh, 2 divided by log of uh, 7. And now we can see log of 2 is approximately equal to 0 0.301 and log of 7 is approximately equal to 0 0.8451 and we are going to substitute those values uh, over here on the right hand side. So therefore I can write x is approximately equal to 0 0.301 divided by 
zero point eight four five one and that is going to give us so uh, x is going to be approximately equal to 0 0.35621 so thus our solution could be written as uh, x equal to log of 2 divided by log of 7 it could also be written as uh, log of 2 with a base uh, 7 and that is going to be approximately equal to 0 0.35621 as well Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.